but the scientific dictatorship needs more than just a secret police network to carry out their plan. Citizen spies at every level of society have been recruited to keep their eyes and ears focused on everything their neighbors and co-workers are doing and saying. More than 50,000 private sector executives have been recruited by FEMA to secretly serve as deputy FBI informants under the InfraGuard program. Now there are more than 75,000 preachers serving FEMA in the clergy response teams. Internal FEMA documents reveal that the majority of America's pastors now serve as agents of the shadow government. They are even instructed on how and what to preach. And as KSLA News 12 Jeff Farrell discovered, the clergy would help the government with potentially their biggest problem, us. From my cold dead hands. Charlton Heston's famous declaration captures a truly American value, the overarching desire to protect our freedoms. But gun confiscation is exactly what happened during the state of emergency following Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. U.S. troops also arrived, something far easier to do even now thanks to last year's elimination of the 1878 Posse Comitatus Act. That forbid U.S. troops from policing on American soil. If martial law were enacted here at home, public fears and quelling dissent would be critical. And that's exactly what the clergy response team, as it's called, helped accomplish in New Orleans. Uh, Jeff, the primary thing that we say to anybody is let's cooperate and get this thing over with, and then we'll settle the differences once the crisis is over. Such clergy response teams would walk a tightrope between the needs of the government versus the wishes of the public. In a lot of cases, these clergy would already be known in the neighborhoods in which they're helping to defuse that situation. For the clergy, one of the biggest tools that they will have in helping calm the public down or obey the law is the Bible itself, specifically Romans, Romans 13. Because the government is established by the Lord, you know, and, uh, and that's what we believe in the Christian faith. That's what's stated in the scripture. They prepare their flocks like sheep to the slaughter for gun confiscation forced inoculation and they tell them that it is a blessing to have their families broken up and put into FEMA camps. Adolf Hitler bragged that his most powerful domestic tool used by the Nazis to control the people was the servile clergy and his favorite Bible verse was Romans 13. Render unto Caesar. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. The scam was launched as a simple bait and switch. The government recruited the public by telling them that they were needed in the fight against Al Qaeda. But from day one, over 90% of their training and operations focus on demonizing, surveilling, and harassing anyone who stands against their takeover. The Department of Homeland Security calling on firefighters to take on a new role in the war on terror. The idea to be the eyes for the U.S. government when they're inside a home. Now, unlike police officers, firefighters don't need a warrant to go into private houses. And critics say that's where things get sticky. Cable company repairmen, truck drivers, maid services, and hundreds of other professions that go inside homes and businesses without warrants are now on the government's payroll as citizen snitch spies. But Big Brother doesn't stop there. Children are being indoctrinated inside the public schools nationwide to spy on their parents. You can give information without having to give your name. You guys can get paid for good tips up to $200. The New York Times praised public school programs in the United States and England that are training children to report their parents for eco-crimes, like taking a hot bath or letting the water run while you brush your teeth. All of that violates their carbon footprint credit allotment. And that's where we come in. We're the carbon cops and we're on the lookout for energy wasters. Our job is to get all Australian households to cut their carbon emissions. So Carbon Cops is a program that looked at energy use in a domestic sense. We went into people's houses and got them to reduce their energy use by 50%.
Sadly, the Boy Scouts of America have now contracted with the Department of Homeland Security and are now training more than 20,000 Boy Scouts in anti-terror urban warfare mount training. The federal grants are very specific. The Scouts are trained to carry out seek and destroy missions against disgruntled veterans of the U.S. Armed Forces. Good evening, everyone. Homeland Security is enlisting some unlikely new recruits to fight terrorism and help with other emergencies. The Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts across the country and here in East Tennessee are now taking part. Nine-year-old Elise Murphy has already earned a lot of Girl Scout patches. And now, every member of the 3.4 million Girl Scouts of America is now being trained by the Federal Emergency Management Agency to aid and support Homeland Security in disaster and anti-terror operations. One of the things that if you talk to our generals, they are desperate for is a civilian uh, counterpart to our military forces. Everybody somewhere between the ages of 18 and 25 will serve three months of basic training and understanding in a kind of civil defense. So is this compulsory then? It, well, you have to, uh, in a sense, it's, it's a required of everybody, 18 to 25, three months, uh, and at some point at that point, you do.